Now I'm going to talk about you know invisibility cloaks too. Uh, now the reason why um, you know people wearing uh, silly hats and uh, silly cloaks and silly scepters and all of that sort of stuff, telegraphing, uh, you know, a, a certain achievement or status or level, right? Is that cloak and that scepter could have just been stolen five minutes ago in the green room, right? That person might be an idiot, right? Parading as uh, someone who has uh, achieved a certain level, right? So it's foolishness <laughs> to trust somebody dressed up in a fancy outfit, a fancy dress outfit. Foolishness, right? Because they can steal it, right? They don't necessarily have to earn it. If they had any sense at all, they'd go, wait an hour, I can spend f five years uh, six years, seven years uh, training to be can, a, a doctor or a lawyer or I could just go in and lie through my teeth uh, for uh, five minutes and I mean, you know, have you never seen Catch Me If You Can? So the guy does, he just runs about from place to place using everybody's uh, invisibility quotes against them. He's using it against them. That's why it's foolishness. That's why it's stupid. Right? Uh, so, you know, you can all be butt hurt uh, all you like. All I can say is, you're a fool. Right? If you know how to do something that is valuable, and you have trained, and you have earned that respect, earned it. Right? There's no need to wear your silly hat, right? And there's no need to wear uh, all your uh, fancy outfits, telegraphing uh, that, you know, you've reached a certain level. Because if you have reached that certain level, when questioned, you will be able to support that position. Right? Because you've earned it, right? Uh, and people who have earned it, if you're a pretender uh, in fancy dress, somebody will be able to uh, ask you pertinent questions to see if you're just a faker.